So this question comes from Shiv R. You have talked about the Tor network and its issues. I'm curious as to what you think about I2P network and its EAP sites. So I have talked ad nauseum about how much I just fundamentally dislike the concept of Tor. So Tor is supposed to be this anonymizing network that people can use in order to communicate and do all these things and other people aren't supposed to be able to monitor it. And I've said time and time and time and time again that I dislike uh, the Tor network uh, simply because how it is built, the fact of the matter is, is that if a nation state type actor tries to attack it, it is very vulnerable. Uh, if an individual hacker tries to attack it, it's, it's, it's not too bad. I mean, yes, I guess an individual hacker with about $1,000 in the back pocket could do a bit of damage, but generally it's not, um, you, you can keep your privacy, your anonymity, if you use something like the Tor network and you're worried about your average high school hacker. The reality is though, once you start worrying about things like NSA or any of these real intelligence agencies, the fact of the matter is, 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 is how the Tor network is built. It can be compromised by mass scale attacks. If you have a billion dollars in the bank uh, and you're worried about terrorist attacks, ripping apart the Tor network really is, is, is almost a trivial task. I hate to say that it's a trivial task, but it's not, it's one of those things that you, you can write it out on a, on, a, on a whiteboard in about four hours on how you would rip apart the Tor network, and then you go when you pay the coders how to do it. But, like, there's not... It's really not that hard to compromise. So, you know, being that, that I dislike Tor, people then ask me, you know, what about other things, things like Freenet or this I2P? So if we go over to the... The, the, the computer, I can just show you the, the website for I2P. So if you're interested in this, it's I2P and get I2P.net is how you get to it. I2P is an anonymous overlay network. A network within a network is intended to protect communication from dragnet surveillance and monitoring by third parties such as ISPs. I2P is used by many people who care about the privacy, activists, oppressed journalists, blah, blah, blah. No network can be perfectly anonymous. The continued goal of I2P is to make attacks more and more difficult to mount. It's anonymity will get stronger as the size of the network increases with uh, and with ongoing academic review. So basically, the best way to think about it is that this is a competition for Tor, or a competitor of Tor. If we go over to the general introduction on how ITP works, it goes through the whole how all this stuff happens. And, you know, again, it's... It's curious. It's, you know what, what, am I, what am I? What am I supposed to say here? It is curious. And then when he asks about EAP sites, basically what EAP sites are is they're basically like websites or hidden services in Tor. So these are these are websites within the I2P network that can be hidden. And um, I mean there are some things uh, to talk about with it. Like we can go over here and we can do like comparisons so we can compare it to Tor and you know benefits of Tor over I2P and benefits of I2P over Tor. Uh, designed and optimized for hidden services which are much much faster than in Tor. Uh, so that could be a useful thing. So basically if you're trying to host hidden websites, um, I2P might be better for you. Fully distributed and self-organizing might be a little bit better for you. Uh, peer are selected by a continuously profiling and ranking performance. Um, you know, yeah, basi basically, here, here, here's my problem with I2P, um, is if you, if you read through it, and I, I, I haven't actually used I2P, I have no interest in actually using I2P, but if you read through all the information for I2P, basically what you get down to is that it looks like, uh, in a lot of ways, it may be a better product uh, than Tor. So if, you, if you're looking at uh, basically the idea of anonymous networking uh, as products, the way we would look at office, you know, office suites as products, uh, it looks like that I2P may have some things going for it. Uh, the websites and such may be faster. How it does its polling in order to to send your data from one place to the other may be better, may be more secure. Uh, so from a, a basic standpoint, I2P may in fact be better than Tor as a product. Unfortunately, we still come back to Eli, the computer guy's viewpoint of this is all an asininely horrible concept to begin with. 
I don't care how you implement it. I really don't give half a crap how you implement it. I honestly believe this is a horrible uh, concept from the ground up. Again, the, the big issue that we run into whenever we're dealing with IP4 networking, whenever we're dealing with the internet in the modern world, is it was just simply not fundamentally built uh, to be secure. It was not built to be private. This was supposed to be communication between cr trusted uh, computers and trusted networks, and therefore it was basically supposed to be opening. The, uh, open. The, the way I would try to explain it to you guys is you guys know yodeling. Yodeling! Right? So yodeling uh, is Switzerland. Swi yodeling is, is a way that people communicated in Switzerland. Basically, these yodelers would go up into the mountains and they would say, yodeling! Right? And that would echo through all the mountains. Uh, and then one yodeler would pass on somebody, another yodeler's information. And so basically, I don't know, it was yodelers, right? These, these guys go up to the mountains and they yodel. And then when one person hears that the yodel should be passed on, he then yodels out, so on and so forth. So the way that I would, the way that I would argue about, about privacy and anonymity on the internet is imagine if you tried to make yodeling anonymous. Right? That sounds about like the most asinine idea you've ever heard in your life, right? You're going up to the mountaintop, you're screaming at the top of your lungs some message. So maybe you could encrypt the message, maybe you could try to change your voice when you are yodeling, but no matter how you effing cut it, <laughs> trying to make yodeling a secure form of communication is just a stupid idea, right? And that is where I'll go back to with the internet. The internet is a digital form of yodeling. And I really, like, I kind of just made that up about 30 seconds ago, but I think I'm going to continue to use that probably for the rest of my life. The internet is a digital form of yodeling. Anything you do, yes, theoretically, I guess maybe sort of it could kind of work, but it's just from the, the, the core core of it, it's, it's a dumb idea. So basically, you know, while we're still using the IPv4 protocol and all those kinds of things, I just don't, it, it just doesn't make sense. It just, it's not built to be secure. It would be as if you were trying to say, how can I secure Yodel communication? You just can't do it. So all of this stuff, what I would argue, what I would argue is, again, no matter how technically good one of these might be versus the other, the core concept that you can be anonymous and private online is a flawed concept from the get-go. And one of the reasons that I argue so hard about this is because people get into this whole, uh, this whole world of magical thinking. I believe my internet communications should be secure, therefore it should be secure. And the problem is, is nobody's actually sat down to take a look at these protocols, or very few, very few normal people actually sit down to take a look at these protocols and what's going on, and so they don't realize that it's just, it's just not fundamentally built uh, to be secure. And so the issue is, is when you see these kinds of things, it adds to the incorrect assumption that your communication on the internet ever should be secure, that it ever can be secure, and it just, it just fundamentally can't. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I2P, Tor, Brina, any of that horse crap, all you're trying to do is encrypt yodeling. <laughs> and again, that's all you have to think about. How would you secure yodel communication? And all the internet traffic is, is digital form of yodel communication. So just, Stop, stop, please, please, please stop.